Imagine, imagine if I could give you three steps to start figuring out what the message is for you personally in your own pain, illness, injury, or disease. Welcome. I'm Carol Serby. I'm owner of the Amanika Healing Institute, Northern British Columbia's premier institute for hypnotherapy, timeline therapy, neuro-linguistic programs, ceremonies, workshops, and training. So thank you so much for joining me here today. We are having another episode of Follow Your Map, um, where we are revolutionizing the way you understand your how your body is speaking to you. And this week we're talking about symbols. Now, if you're following my posts on Facebook, you've probably seen some of the symbols that have come up and they're some of the more, more common um, symbols that um, people use. Now, symbols are really important. And I personally, one of my favorite symbols is the Sri Yantra. And it's an ancient symbol and it's just about bringing to you um, anything that you focus your attention on, okay? And sometimes people might use, um, you've seen the Wiccas, they, they have the five-sided pentagram, which means connection to source, and then all four of the other elements. Um, there's all sorts of yoga symbols, there's, uh, there's tons of symbols out there, and I go into a little bit of detail um, this week on my, on my Facebook feed. So I wanted to bring to your attention, though, that there's other symbols that, that our body uses in order to alert us to stuff that's going on. Now, on the exterior, you can use, and I love the idea of yoga mudras, right? So using hand positions to move the energy within the body. Um, but in, before you start to be able to do that, Sometimes you have to be able to identify what energy might be stuck or sticking or blocking or stuffed or whatever phrase works good for you. Use that phrase. So that's what we're going to be talking about here today. So in order to understand where our energies are stuck, you need to understand where in the body these energies reside. So normally they're referred to as the chakra system. Now you don't need to know anything about the chakra system to know, um, to understand this. Okay, this isn't about chakra system. But what it is about is it's about understanding that your um, energies are created in different areas of the body, okay? So your ability to um, have creativity and sensuality and sexuality is actually created um, below the belly button, okay? And your ability to have heart um, is actually created in what we call the heart center. So it's kind of the center of the chest area here and the area where you create communication and communication with others and you actually bring your ideas into a, gr uh, a rooted, grounded, um, actual, tangible, physical, maybe it's a business idea, right? Um, that's actually created in the throat chakra. So what I need you to know is just there's different energies that the body thrives in, and each of these energies is created in a different part of the body. Okay? Okay, so moving forward, um, when you injure any part of the body, it is showing you that there is something going on that the energy in that part of the body is not working to its nth degree, in its best. Um, and the degree of the injury will correlate directly to the degree in which it's not working. So I'm just gonna put my glasses on here because I do have some notes. Um, so. 
so when you talk about these energy centers, that's where acupressure um, and acupuncture, um, massage therapy, you know, what they're doing is they're manipulating these energy centers so that we, we release this stored up, pent up energy, right? Um, now, with the main energy centers, the, the centers of the body that create in general, the, our general energy, what you need to understand about them is they work in bands across the body. So again, the throat would be this area here. So if you damage something in the throat area, know that your um, ability to commu uh, communicate in, yeah, we, we can get deeper than that, but just, just we're just trying to create a basic understanding here. Your ability to create a, to communicate has been um, jeopardized, uh, impacted, okay? So that's the first thing that we look at is where in the body is the injury? What energy band has been affected, okay? Now, the second area of the body that we look at is actual, actually now the physical body. So again, talking about these bands of energy, Bones represent one band of energy. The fascia represent another band of ener energy. A joint itself, the cartilage, the ligaments, they represent another band of energy. And then it gets out into the soft tissue and then the actual skin. Um, and they all represent the different bands of energy. So what we look at first is where the initial impact was and what is that impact in that initial area. So we look at the first thing is what area is affected and then um, we kind of layer it up with how was that area affected. I know I'm being a little vague here but just just go with me. So um, let me just clear, uh, go a little deeper. So we look at the band of energy that's been affected and then we look at how physically that band of energy has been affected and what aspect of that band of, it, of energy has been affected, okay? So if it is, again, going back to your throat and maybe you've got a cut here. So, so a cut the skin might represent your ability to really draw in and hone in on your truth. Okay, so if you're not speaking your truth, that could be a really big issue, especially depending on where you, and it's going to represent exactly where you are in your world, in your life, in your business, in your job, in your family. Okay, um, so that's how it goes. We look at the band of energy first, and then how that band of energy is impacted with a secondary overlaid energy. So we have what's the main source and then what's the secondary source that's impacting that main source. And that's kind of the way it works. If you wanna go in deeper into this and you're curious about what um, your messages are, I offer a 30 minute free call. You can call me. And we can talk about it and we could talk about the first layer and we could talk about the second layer and we might even get into a third or a fourth layer. So what we need to know, and this is going to be part of your homework, part of your tasking, is if you are feeling stuck, if you're feeling as though you're blocked or you can't move forward or that there's certain areas in your life that you just yeah, can't figure out, what I would like you to do is I would like you to sit down and actually make note of your physical injuries on your body. Make note of where they are and actually draw like a stick man and mark the areas in the body that have been impacted. Front, back, top, bottom, right? And we want to look at physical impacts. So, you know, maybe you, uh, you were out whittling some wood and you punctured your hand and you put a knife you know, maybe right through your hand. Um, or maybe again, you're out 
in the woods and you're chopping some wood and you put an ax through your toe or or maybe um, this was one of my experiences I was tobogganing and my knees were hanging out of the edge of the toboggan and my one knee hit a rock and I actually took out a, a little chunk of my kneecap so um, so where are these physical injuries where have they been in your body and then once you have that little map done look at where the groupings are and that's going to give you an understanding of the first layer the first band of energy that has been being significantly impacted because every time we injure ourselves it's like oh that's not safe oh that's not safe oh that's not safe right so every time we impact our injure ourselves we close down that energy center just a little bit and depending if it's a big injury of course we close it down a lot so it's about figuring out where that first impact is so go ahead and in your tasking in your homework today I want you to group out where your the majority of your injuries have been and don't forget surgeries Okay, don't forget, you know, maybe you went to the doctor and he took something out of your ear, you know, maybe you had a root canal. Don't forget those. Those are all very important as well. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so I think we've talked about everything on my list here. Um, past injuries where they've occurred, um, what band they are and how they, how they impact that energy effect. And when you combine these two, you really start to get to understand the chi, the chi of where the person, uh, individual physical area, which we've talked about. And the last thing that's really important, and if you've had a diagnosis, Okay, so I don't know, diabetes, cancer, whatever your diagnosis is, ADHD, any of them, okay? The other part that's really important is to look at the age of the diagnosis, okay? Um, and that also, your age also represents an energy band, but I'm not going to go that deep there. But what I want you to do is in general, this might not work for everybody. It depends on what the triggering event was, okay, how big it was, okay? But in general, age of diagnoses go back seven years. So if it's, if you're 40 and it happened and your diagnosis was in March and you're 40 years old, I want you to go back to March when you're 33 years old and give yourself like a six month window. So if it's March, you might go uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. What major event happened in that area of your life? Okay. And that's going to give you deeper insights even to what's going on. So I encourage you to sign up for a 30 minute free call with me because we can go, we can go layer by layer by layer by layer into what your major setbacks, what your major blockages, what your major holdbacks are, okay? And in that call, I can, I can give you advice, I can point you to resources, or if you're comfortable, we can continue to work together. Um, yeah, and that's what I do. I hypnotherapist, uh, timeline therapy, neuro-linguistic programming, and I back it all up with the understanding of the energetic systems. So it it's really impactful. I'm taking people's pain from, uh, you know, seven and eights to zeros in an hour. Um, they're really, really making huge impacts on people's lives in, uh, fairly quickly, like within an hour. It's pretty cool. So if you're looking for more of this type of information, uh, energy healing techniques, inspiration, understanding how your body is speaking to you, I encourage you to sign up for the fr free 30 minute clarity call. Oh, and I was just thinking, um, after this video is done, check in the comments below because I'll actually put 
a picture of the bands that go across the body so that you have an understanding of what energy centers are being impact. And if you would like an opportunity to work with me, uh, go to omnikahealing.ca and sign up for the free th uh, clarity call. And, and like I said, you can have some questions or we, or I can help you through this process here exactly. And we'll figure out exactly where you're blocked and exactly where you're held up. I also offer monthly workshops and um, lectures. So all these events can be found on our Facebook page or at omnikahealing.ca. It's my purpose here to help support you in your courage and to really explore the clarity in your own intuitive listening and the mastery that's already inside of you so that you can live full throttle and give others permission to do the same. So I hope you have a great day. And if you have any questions, pop in in the feed and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.